it's been a while since I made a QU Media video. Why? Because I think I upset people when I make videos. So if I ever make a video on QU Media, I will only make positive videos because you know that's what people want to hear. They don't want to hear negativity. They don't want to hear the stock price going down. They don't want to hear anything that has to do with negativity. They just want to hear bullish themes. But you know, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I am still a shareholder with QU Media. I still believe in the long term vision of the company. I believe that with proper execution, this one day, this company one day could become a one billion dollar market cap. But again, this is only my opinion, and it may not happen. Uh, but we'll see. Only time will tell. This so, Kurt came out with a management update call, and uh, he mentioned that he they managed to get Facebook and Coke onto the uh platform or onto their long term contract, which is a big win. That's a huge win. They have some of the biggest companies in the world. Uh, Amazon is not on here. Did they lose Amazon? Oh, there's Facebook, Pepsi, uh, Prop, Procter and Gamble, which is a huge company. So, yeah, Unilever, kind of huge. So, anyways, I'll play the video and then I'll talk more about the company afterwards. So, let's begin. Important. On the left hand side there, you see Facebook and Coca Cola. Okay. What's changed for us is we were so excited about adding P&G and Unilever and Pepsi, et cetera. We were putting out press releases about that. We haven't even put out a press release about Facebook becoming an advertiser, Coca-Cola becoming an advertiser on the channel. It's not that it's a yawn. It's not about that. It's that we've now got ourselves in a place where we expect that to happen. That's what we expect our ad sales group to be bringing in is advertisers of that level. The more important part of this page and the thing that's really driving what is, is uh, uh, giving us a lot of uh, excitement about the future is that when we first started making these announcements, you know, typical deals might be for two weeks or four weeks or maybe even two months if it was a, if it was a really good one. A lot of these advertisers now are signing on for long-term deals. I can't go into the details of which ones and who it is and how long it is, but some of these people are, have now signed up to advertise on the channel for 12 months. So we've got a one-year deal booked and locked in for advertisers in terms of these names that you see on this page. So that's where things have changed. That's the kind of thing that happens when you become more of a massy channel. And this is the stuff that gives us so much enthusiasm about where the channel is headed and where the company is headed. This is also a big one. At the end of the day, you know, to some degree, it's all about the programming. Get asked about the GRP all the time. Our GRP has actually drifted down a little bit over the last month as we've, as, as we've been trying to get to a point where we can find what the right mix is between content and ad value. Without getting too far into the weeds of all this, brands and advertisers like to pick certain kinds of shows, certain types of audiences, et cetera. We, as a lot of you followed us for a long time know, we were very, very heavily leaning into animation. Well, animation is great for viewership. It drives viewership. We know that. that wants to continue watching this I mean I'm not gonna go through the whole thing but as you can see you know they added on you know Facebook and Coke uh, I guess they lost Amazon because maybe Amazon was a short-term uh, deal with them and they now it, they're gone maybe Amazon will come back who knows at the end of the day but they do have some really big partnerships and um, you know they just recently they had a uh, increase in revenue guidance of, of 4.7 to 4.8 million dollars from a 3.1 to 3.8 million dollars I feel like this company will hit 10 million dollars in probably 2022 for one quarter uh, but we'll see though I mean that's pure speculation on my part uh, how will the how will shareholders reward 
Oh my god! Oh my god! Don't listen to that! Don't listen to that! Uh, stupid answering machine. People have to uh, go all the way to the messaging machine. They can't just hang up as soon as they hear that. <laughs> Anyways, uh, you guys are probably gonna go back and be like trying to listen to that, trying to get a phone number out of this. I don't really care, but. <laughs> Anyways. So they increased the guidance uh, of 4.7 to 4.8 million dollars from a 3.1 to 3.8 million dollars. I mean, I could remake this video, but I'm just, I'm just too lazy. I'm just too lazy. I'm just gonna listen to that and yeah. Anyways, um, yeah. So we'll see what happens we'll see if they're, they're gonna be profitable I wonder if they came out with the earnings thing yet we can look at Sedar and see uh, we can see what happens like I don't like honestly I don't know what's going to happen but uh, you know I could buy some more and do some swing trading and you know hold some long term and hold some for swing trading you know just in case the rich people decides to come in and pump this thing to the moon I don't know at the end of the day what rich people will do. I feel like that's the only way for the stock to move is if rich people move it. If rich people decide to pump this thing to the moon. Because retail investors are not going to do it. Retail investors are too greedy. They all want to make money. So they're going to try to buy as low as possible. And any upward movement, they're going to sell and take some profit. You know? But big money they're the ones that ultimately move stocks so that's why my opinion is anyway so q u so they did announce an earnings on may 2021 20, w6 so according to the balance sheet they currently have about $13 million of cash on the balance sheet of total of $14 million of, of total assets, uh, liabilities of $2 million, uh, trade and other payables. This is the biggest liability, but uh, overall, they have way more cash than what their liability is. So the company is now nowhere near in danger of bankruptcy at all. Uh, revenue. Okay, I guess it hasn't been updated yet because it says right here they made two hundred and eighty thousand dollars of revenue for three months ending March. I guess they haven't updated us with a new earnings report yet. Uh, so we'll see what happens when the new earnings report comes out. But uh, according to the uh, according to the revenue guidance, uh, they are, for September thirtieth they made four point seven to four point eight. Uh, so we'll see. And then for the March quarter, the ending June thirtieth, they made two point six to two point seven. That one hasn't been released yet, so we'll see what happens when that one gets released. According to this, the total operational expenses is 2.7. So if the revenue is at 4.7, wouldn't that mean that the uh the profit they they're like two million dollars a profit? Maybe I don't know. We'll see what happens. But sounds like they are they have two million dollars a profit. Anyways, uh, I don't really have too much to say, but uh, no, they are they are growing the revenue, they're growing the profit, the you know the grow they're, they're a growing company, and um, you know if they can deliver some really good content, maybe you know Netflix might come and pick up their content and buy some content off them, because that's what Netflix does. They look for good content and they buy them out. So. You know, maybe maybe they'll strike a deal with Netflix. Who knows at the end of the day? Uh, but good content will always be king. If QU Media can make some really good content, 
I feel like the company stock will get rewarded big time. So we'll see what happens. Uh, the stock price did go all the way down to 25 cents. I wish I picked up some shares at 25 cents. It still may go back down to 25 cents. I don't know at the end of the day what the, the stock price is going to do. I'm a, currently a bag holder. I have my, my shares at 35 cents. So I am losing a little bit on this investment, but uh, if I hold long term, maybe, maybe with increase of revenue, maybe big money will come in and pump the stock up, and I won't be a big holder anymore. Or I can, you know, camp it, wait for a good price, and then you know buy it on another account and swing trade it. We'll see what happens. Anyways, thanks for watching. Don't forget to sub if you want to, and give me a thumbs up if you want to and if you don't want to that's okay also give me a dislike if you want and have a great day bye